Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 39, and this is war number three. And we're going against an alliance called Marvel Contest Wrecking Crew. I hope they don't wreck us. All right, let me see, who did they ban? Okay, Rintra, interesting bans. Uh, Tigra and Human Torch, interesting, interesting. All right, Hercules is banned, and... Uh, Kingpin is whitelisted. Let's uh, take a look what we got in here. All right. Oh, interesting. Nobody on that uh, node right there. Okay, so I have to deal with um, Guillotine 2099. She does get an armor up, so Gallon is going to eat her alive. Start with a heavy, then just build up. Heavy again to activate the harvest and take her down. Uh, we've got Omega Sentinel. Now, um, we already talked, and I'm going to be taking this Omega Sentinel. And uh, Gallon does a good job on this one as well. Then we've got Colossus, an old favorite. You already know. That's Claire all day, every day. Uh, we've got Warlock here. Uh, Claire can do that one. And uh, we've got Nimrod. So I might bring in, well, I'm going to bring in Nebula. Uh, so that's going to be Galen, uh, Claire, and Nebula, which seems to be a really good team for this path. Handles most of the um, opponents that I'd have to face. Now, by taking uh, those two minis, it's going to allow uh, one of my beast of a, Alliance mates to focus more on dealing with uh, some of the uh, boss island uh, minis here. Uh, so that is what we will do. Gallon, take that, take that. Claire can clear that. Nebula might take Nebula against that um, Warlock, but definitely against that Nimrod. All right, seems like a pretty straightforward uh, war for me. Let's see if it actually turns out that way. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get on with the fighting. Okay, going in with the Dream Team. We've got Gallon, we've got Black Widow Clairvoyant, and we've got Nebula. That has been my Dream Team now for a few seasons, and it has proven to be my best team. I may swap out one or two, but this seems to be able to handle path three very well in sections one and two. So I'm going to go ahead and boost. You can see down there I have a lot of boosts. So the only reason not to boost is because I forgot. That's it. Now, this first fight, uh, during a live stream, I realized that not everybody knows how to fight uh, guillotine. So the, what you want to do is you want to start off with a heavy attack. Boom. Okay. That's great for Gallon. That heavy attack doesn't activate the harvest because you don't have enough planetary mass yet. So you're not wasting anything. After that, you can see that her digi cloak is on cooldown. So I was doing medium light mediums. She had a uh, armor up. Man, it's so fast. Before I could even finish explaining, the fight's over. But she had an armor up so that uh, the, I think it's an electric defense is activated. So I was building up planetary mass like crazy. I could just do regular five hit combos against her while the digi cloak is on cooldown. Then do a heavy attack, special one, fight is done. All right. So anyone that gets armor ups that's placed on path three, Gallon is going to eat them alive. The fight will be over very, very quickly. All right, so that was the only fight I had in uh, section one. And I'm noticing that uh, they're starting to leave defenders off because they see that if the person has a gallon, it don't matter really who they put up there. Gallon is taking them out, all right? Uh, so we've got Omega Sentinel on uh, node 24. And this is a very good placement for her. Unfortunately, Gallon eats her alive. Um, I remember, boy, it was a few wars back, um, uh, maybe a couple seasons where we were having major issues 
with her on this node. We were trying to come up with a solution. And there are some solutions other than Gallop. But he is a beautiful solution. Even in uh, Battlegrounds, I take out Omega Sentinels. Okay, so you'll notice that I'm trying to uh, keep from putting up a lot of uh, uh, armor ups. Just look at that. <clears throat> that was just crazy. Um, so what I was trying to do was I was trying to keep from uh, doing the same attack. And I wasn't entirely successful, but with Gallon, I didn't really need to be. But what you, you really want to do, and um, I think I did it in a, in a later um, war, is try to do um, like a medium light medium, parry heavy. She still has the chance to get an armor up <clears throat> when you parry. But try to do medium light medium, parry heavy, medium light medium. Or some people will do a medium light, then, um, you know, back off and do a medium light medium, you know, however you want to do it. All right. Um, and this is going to be a, a pretty routine fight. Uh, Colossus on this node. Um, I still think that Claire is like the best option. She just wrecks him every time. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever lost. The Colossus on that node with Claire. Don't think I have. Uh, but anyway, so Omega Sentinel can be taken with several uh, as long as you um, follow that uh, rule. But if you don't, you know, like you do parry and she gets an armor up and you might do another parry and maybe she'll get another armor up because there's a chance, then bait out a special. Try to bait out her special ones and she'll use up her armors. So, you know, once you learn how to fight her, it's not that bad. And on that note particular, you, you kind of want somebody that either is immune to power burn or doesn't gain buffs. So Spider-Man 2099 can do that fight. Uh, he was the first one I tried uh, against it. Uh, Titania can do that fight. Um, so, <clears throat> this fight here uh, against Warlock is going to be your standard fight. Um, I knew that I was going to be facing shock dealing with this guy here. Just, just, I knew. And so I'm like, okay, now that was an accident. I didn't mean to uh, parry him right there, but I did it by reflex. And yeah, but fortunately... You know, uh, Nebula is shock immune and even benefits from it. So there we go. That was a nicer uh, ending there, but it could have been much better uh, if I hadn't accidentally uh, parried him. It would have been faster. But still not a, a bad fight. Still not um, really slow. Now we've got Nimrod. And I usually take... Nebula. She soloed him every single time. There is a fight coming. Um, not in this war. Where I did not use Nebula. I wanted to see what Gallon could do. Look forward to that. Alright, so I'm basically building up here. Okay. Don't really care too much about the node where you back off twice and they get a regen. That happens. I was looking up somewhere and got caught. <laughs> That's the only thing. Um, but anyway, so now I got 20. So now what I want to do is I want to build up to a special two. Okay, so now I need him to fire his special. Now I need him to fire his special. There we go. Finally, he threw his back. Okay, so I'm still building up. And the nice thing, you know that uh, Nimrod will uh, power lock you, right? But Nebula shuts down robots. Uh, and so you can see here, see, she's not, um, she wasn't power locked. Look at that. Boom, fight's over. She wasn't power locked because she had, I think it's eight. Um, 
but she had 20. So she was completely shut down. And so once I got to the uh, power, to, uh, you know, um, enough for two, uh, boy, it's early in the morning. Uh, but anyway, he wasn't able to power lock me at two bars of power like he normally would. So I waited until it was just over the two bars of power. Then Parry hit him with the special. He's done. All right. We'll be back in a little bit here and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. Um, this war was actually pretty close. Um, you know, we could have done better, but it was actually a pretty close war. Let's take a look here. All right. So you can see it was, it was a pretty close war. Okay. Um, but anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.